What's up? Welcome back, everybody. It's a brand new show. Mom Sessions on your stereo. I'm trying to rhyme right here. I don't know where else to go. Yo, ho ho. Just hit it with the flow. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Yo, you're hanging out with Jenny Boy. Ryan Yi right here. Hey guys, Shufei here. Yes, and uh, man, what a week this has been, man. <laughs> crazy. This oh week God. has been a crazy week, but uh, we're going to start off with uh, with me, of course, because <laughs> I'm sorry for being late because uh, we know we usually record our shows like in the beginning of the week, but uh, the fact that I just got back and I was missing in the beginning of the week because yeah. I went to Singapore um, to basically, you know, enjoy their currency, but no, more importantly, to witness... The wedding of Jen Hao and Debbie. They're married! Officially! Congratulations, Jen Hao and Debbie! Bam bam ba bam. Yeah. Bam bam ba bam. Bam bam ba bam ba bam ba 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 ba. And the thing is they had a <laughs> beachside wedding. Oh wow. And uh the view was well, Joho. Not, no, I don't think it was Joho <laughs> you, you actually. You have a beachside wedding and then it's like, oh, look at this beautiful beach and right across you see Joho. No, it's not. Okay, so it was at Sentosa and we oh, were facing nice. like the, mo- okay, so we were the south of Singapore and we were facing a bunch of cargo ships. Oh. I know, right? Oh, it's, so like, nice. it's, it's like a beautiful, like, you know, background. It's on Sentosa Island. Uh, so it's like yeah, the it's resort a, world at, towards that side, is it? That's right. Yeah. But, you know, it, it had some cargo ships behind. But oh, it doesn't man. matter because, mm. you know. It's the, the company. Yeah, it's the company. And, you know, Jen House said it's a vows. And I was like, oh. It makes, me, it makes me kind of like, why didn't I say that during my vows? Someone, I remember watching yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone was, wants to rewrite his vows. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be funny, I remember. I can't remember. Oh, okay, so, well, okay, during, here's what happened during my vows, though. I I choked up. I mean, uh, me and Michelle, right, I got to be in the two last minute, fellas. Uh, we were like, hey, we have to write vows, right? Oh, shit. And this was like two hours before uh, the actual, well, solemnization, they call it. And uh, okay, Michelle was like, okay, I'll go write my vows. I'll go write my vows. And for me, it's like, I kind of like, because uh, I like to bullshit a lot. Okay, sorry. i sorry. I should take back the word bullshit. Wrong <laughs> 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 oh. Sorry, no, 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 no. I like to talk a lot. Uh, ah, better, better. I've got the gift of the gap. So um, I wrote it down in point form. Um, and then Michelle said, okay, I'll write my actual vows down because, you know, she was very conscious because we were recording, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember when uh, the lady finally asked us to say our vows, um, I remember, like, in my mind, I was, I was just going to say hi. And I said hi. I had that whole rush of emotions of me going back to the first day I met her and how we got together. I just lost it. <laughs> yeah, I completely <laughs> lost it. And after Rupert came up to me, he's like, hey, Jin, all I heard of your vows was, <laughs> I was like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. There were some times I kind of like cracked the jokes because like the <laughs> solemnization person was like, because uh, you know when you put your ring on the finger, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I have to repeat after her, so she's like, "With this ring, with this ring, I be wed." And I said, "With this ring, I be broke." <laughs> oh my god! You put that What? I gotta lighten up the mood a little bit. Come on! Oh my! It's, it's your wedding. To be Jin. emotional. Yeah, okay. it was, but you know she remembers it. But lucky she didn't go with this ring. You're now single. Oh my god. <laughs> But it was it was a very sweet wedding because I mean this is the first time I see Jen House. I mean he's such a hardworking guy. I've only known him for for uh, well I've known him for quite a while. Yeah, quite yeah. Quality. You know he's always working. He's always building his company. His company's got about like thirty people right now. Crazy. You know he's running Titan 30, Digital Media. Thirty people. He Three releases zero. a video wow. every week. You know. Um, he's got like 3 million subscribers and man um, I, you gotta look at the size of the rock on her finger I'm not gonna go into much details of that but you look at that you'd be like wondering man how much is that like you know yeah I'll let yeah, you go yeah. I'll let you go figure um, his vows were just so touching because you know at the end of the day he said this I wouldn't have had this any other way Oh, that's yeah. so sweet exactly and I'm like wow Jen Hao you wow. he's, he's got game man but you know I'm so proud of him once again congratulations Jen Hao congratulations Debbie you guys are gonna be amazing parents your baby is already gonna be a celebrity la. before before <laughs> baby is born right it's gonna be a celebrity it's gonna be a baby girl by the way oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. cute I remember watching that video yeah and it's gonna be amazing I you know I for me is I have n- I have nothing but love for the both of them and uh, you know I, so apparently uh, this wedding was a very closed wedding so it was only for family and friends mm-hmm. uh, she's gonna be having another wedding next year and it's like gonna be a, a bigger like yeah. a proper party like a big celebration kind yeah of thing, like a yeah. big celebration and I, well I'm not sure where this is true but I didn't hear from him but you know uh, some of them were saying that he wants to open up the fans 
Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. whoa. Crazy. Wow. This that's, Three million subscribers. That's a lot of fans. Yeah, I know. Like, even all the way in Malaysia, I, a few of my students also, they were like, oh my God, you work at Genie Boy? That's cool. But like, have you met Jen Hao? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like, hey, you all work for Genie Boy TV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean you, does it mean you get to meet Jen Hao too? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I met Jen Hao. But yeah, this week has been pretty amazing. I mean, like, uh, just a couple of days ago, I mean, like, on the day that we watched the finale of Game of Thrones. Before uh-huh. we get to Game of Thrones, before. Oh, yeah, before oh my God, Game of Thrones. Yeah, and everybody was going on about about this whole ban where um, Trump apparently banned uh, Google what? from working for Huawei. Huawei, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was insane. I mean, I didn't read too much into the details, but, like, the fact that one person can just ban a private entity, like a company, from mm-hmm. working with another company, I thought that was a bit crazy for me mm. well to be honest i don't know i, w- I wouldn't want to go to it spe- i mean like on, into detail because it's all politics right it is so, a lot of yeah politics, so i don't yeah. know what what the heck is going on but the fact that you know oh, oh you know what i am going to bend huawei from working <laughs> with google okay and not only that it's gonna be huge because i am going to ban them from working from microsoft and intel as well and i'm like <laughs> okay I, I don't I don't I don't get it. Yeah, honestly, like even if you were to do it something like that, I don't think you should like say it out loud, you know, just do it quietly in the background or something. It's yeah. such a huge thing, you know. But you they know. can't. No, but he's doing okay, so he he's has doing to it, announce it right. Yeah, he's doing it on purpose, what he does he's, so I'm not sure I, I'm not really following this whole Huawei US saga thingy, but I think apparently he thinks that Huawei is spying on the US. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. They have, they, I've I've I saw some some reports as well, like they say some of the Huawei uh, higher ups, the execs and whatnot are uh, like alleged spies, lah. But I don't know how much of that is true, and I don't know how much of that is hearsay. Oh, oh, but I still, just, it's like crazy. Yeah. yeah, I was just listening to you. You know, unbox therapy, right? He yeah. was talking yeah, about yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. saga. He was it's, well, it's like a podcast, like He just sat there with like a mic, and then he was just talking about it. So I was just listening the, mm-hmm. the, the whole night. Yeah. That's what did he say? No, what did he say? I was, <laughs> waiting, for I was you waiting, waiting for you to, to fill us in. <laughs> I was like, gee, thanks, Sufe. No, but it's actually quite complicated. Like. For someone like me, right, who don't really understand the politics of all these mobile devices and stuff, right? Yeah, I, when I was hearing about it, I was like, oh. So what but was it? You're teasing us enough already. So no, what? Also, at the beginning, he was saying like, uh, because like they cannot work with, not cannot work, but like with Android, right? Right. So they cannot get updates anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like they still can use Android, but it's like the toned down version of Android. Like you don't get the, like the apps. The most basic yeah, stock. Yeah, like that, like. yeah. Like you oh. don't get the apps. You don't get a lot of the the software that you know usually Android has, mm-hmm. yeah. So they have to work a way around it. But I heard they they have they are working on their own. Yeah, yeah it's something I can't I, remember. The, the, there's something. There's, there's an operating system that I'm gonna search out right now. It sounds really funny when I saw it. They say it's like the Plan B. Yeah, they are Plan B. I mean, I'm they were pretty sure they have a Plan B. Like, I mean, Huawei is huge. Hey, wait, imagine if the Plan B right works. No, I'm just thinking like, what if the Huawei is like so rich and China is so rich that they just outright buy out Google? Exactly. Yeah, it's like, exactly. It's like, you want to play with us? Come. Right, yeah. Right. yeah. Have you seen how much money we've got? Like China is really not a joke right now. People, last time China made used to stand for like cheap and, and poor made. Now China mm. made is like, Everything complete different is. meaning already, man. Exactly. Everything is made there. Like, you just go to Google, hey, I want to buy you guys. No, you're not going to buy us. Okay, I'll and pay you a 700 billion. So, okay, oh, take it. Yeah, I'll yes. sell, man. <laughs> and then he'll relocate, every, uh, relocate Google to China and then be like, ha ha, Trump, take that now. Yeah, Ooh, it's, it's like, going to be huge. Okay, apparently the OS uh, for a while is called Hongming. Hongming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you laugh now. It may be in seven years' time, everyone will be like, hey, you're using the new Hongming? Yeah. Yeah, it's my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Hongming, ah! Hey, how <laughs> Go clean your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But you know, thank God I'm using a Samsung. <laughs> I don't know lah. I mean, you know, you know, uh, P30 Pro has all been talking about the cameras and stuff like that. Right? Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay. I've seen they it. They talk well. about the whole night camera and whatever. Not. Yes, I've seen it. But the thing is, all they're doing is just overexposing or like doing using long exposure to get their night pictures, which to be honest, any camera, even a Samsung can do it, you know? Yeah, I mean, Samsung, you got the pro mode, but like, yeah, I guess you're right. It's just, you know, packaging. Exactly. It's, it's every up, down, when it comes out to it, it's how you market your phone as well. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I'm team Samsung. Okay, I know I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop this. I'm sorry, okay? Yeah, I'm team Samsung. Moving on. So whatever. <laughs> yes, okay, the most important thing, okay, everybody was basically going up in flames because, yeah, quite uh, literally. Or well, not literally, oh, lah. But quite, quite literally, actually. Yeah, I mean, like, to be honest. Uh, okay, before, I think before we move forward, 
move forward, we have to put a disclaimer there. Yeah, spoilers. I mean, if you've not watched Game of Thrones ever, spoilers. all right, spoilers. Spoilers this is going to be a spoiler alert. Spoiler. All right, if you don't care, then good alert. for you. Okay, we're not going to be those type of people. Like, oh my God, you don't watch Game of Thrones? I'm like, what are you? Where are you from? No, we're not going to do that. No, okay. Plenty of things for you to do other than watch <laughs> this the episode of Game of Thrones. Yeah, like watch out. Wait, are we talking about that episode specifically or are we going through the overall? No, we don't, I don't know. But before, yeah, again, we warn you again. All right. Okay, spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, if you don't want to or uh, if you don't watch Game of Thrones, good for you. But you could watch our latest Raya video that's going to be dropping very, very soon. Yeah, it's directed yeah. by Ryan, by the way. Just a plug over there. But Game of Thrones, the season finale happened on uh, Monday. Oh my god! And yes. it was basically, uh, it was basically a playground for everybody to create memes because. Oh, oh my, my god. god! You know, after the the whole episode ended, right? I yeah. just went Street on Twitter. Gag. I was <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> it, I, okay, to be honest, um, well, my favorite one is the one of Bran. You know how how in like yeah, the episode is like, oh my god, the Lord I- of Winterfell. Now I am the Three Eyed Raven. I cannot do anything else. And then now it's like, what oh, do you think I'm here for? You for? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know the funniest thing they call him Brand the Broker Brand the Broker <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh. it's like saying Brand the Pike Yoke you are now okay <laughs> yeah I mean like I, I kind of actually laughed a little bit thinking that it was a joke because I'm like why would you call him Brand the, the Broken, broken. <laughs> So yes, if you do not know, Game of Thrones uh, had its last episode on Monday and uh, a lot of people were not happy. For me, it was like, okay, cool. You know what? Uh, first, okay, the first three episodes were great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, of yeah. season eight. I thought it was first great. First three episodes, I thought they did it really well. The fourth episode was like, okay, what? What's the fourth again? Uh, after the battle, then they, they ah, had the party. That one not bad. That not bad. Yeah. Um, I, 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 okay, so when, when did Cersei die again? Episode five. Episode five. Five, five, five right? But a stupid rock. Yeah. Okay. Number one. I was one. okay with that, though. Really? really? Yeah. It was like you hate this character for seven seasons, and then she dies because of a rock. I don't know. I was okay with it. I think. I like. I like. I like. I like how the memes came out and said, "Oh, the rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson made a cameo <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because she was killed by rocks." Yeah, but to be honest, okay, look, um, I wasn't really satisfied. Okay, no. I'm not. Okay, I haven't. I didn't watch Game of Thrones when it first came out I only like you know because my friends would keep telling me about it hey you should watch it you should watch it and and the thing is I remember watching the first episode of season 1 and I remember playing the first 15 minutes of it I was like oh this is kind of drag you know I stopped and then one day uh, when I had a lot of time I just basically you know went through 1, 2, 3 I was like hey this is pretty interesting yeah yeah and before you know it I finished season 1 and I was like okay season 2 is awesome whoa 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 right. every season it just keeps getting better yeah. and better, and, better yeah. and better and then like you know like oh, and after, when, after season 7 finished and they were like okay it's gonna take 2 years for us to season eight. do season <laughs> eight after when they released the 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 screen the screen time of season eight like oh what uh, episode four five six is gonna be eighty minutes long yeah oh the whole world rejoice yeah we're gonna get like you know like eight different movies right mm. yeah and then first one oh man second one whoa third one oh and then after that oh. the fourth and fifth no but to be fair they shot it really beautifully it's just the writing I've, the yeah, script was I've, so bad I have no problems with how they shot it you know yeah, some yeah. some of the shots like okay this later season my favourite shot is when the camera uh, starts to jib up and yep. you see you see Khaleesi there and you see the dragon and you see right? the dragon ah. in the wrist oh that was a beautiful shot that was yeah. so cool that was freaking well that you know that's oh, CGI it's, right it is CG like, but like you know they had to plan that and it's, I thought that was a great shot And mm. but you're right I think it's in the right thing I think one problem they had is they only made it six episodes Yeah, it's not enough time to tell all to finish up all the stories of all these characters that we we followed so far you know it's yeah. like in the last three episodes they had to finish about 10 people's 10 characters different arcs and and they just rushed it i felt yeah. i, I like kind of so wish i kind of wish that the night king could have just like fought with them like a duel you know what i mean oh yeah you like you want to see like just having yeah, yeah. Aya jump out ha surprise butt sex and okay, then boom okay. but but that was pretty cool i'm not going to lie uh, that it is like, it is but I, but I feel like the character development all oh, is so wasted you know like, yeah. Arya will learn how to switch faces for nothing eh. yeah oh okay. yeah. Like, yeah yeah she didn't use any of it eh. she no, just ran around like is, <gasps> for me the worst one is saying that yeah Jon Snow is Aegon, uh, Aegon yeah, Targaryen, for what? and in the end, he's he's the, nothing happens. Like the the information is pretty much useless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you take away the information, the story can still maintain more or less the same. You know, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Varys might not die so early, lah, but like, I know, mean, I like the same. I like his ending in a way where he actually went to the wild. You know, he didn't go to the yeah, Night's Watch, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah he so he became, he he became the, the free folk, folk, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. I like that ending, but I didn't like how he had to I, I stay like, in yes. prison. I, I, I get what you mean. Like, yeah, I like, like, what? like I was just telling, telling to you before this, right? 
I'm I'm okay with where the characters ended up. Yeah. I'm just not okay at how they, they ended, ended up, up there. there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I See. kind of feel okay. Look, let's just talk about okay. Just talk. Let's just talk about the last episode. All right. Mm. Okay. So we all know blah 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 blah. Walking around dead people. You know. Then uh, Tyrion uh, finds his sister and brother. I yeah. thought that was actually pretty moving. That's no. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> he was, was picking up moving. the 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 rock. I know what you're talking about. And then it's like he just picked up one or two, and then their bodies were there. Really. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, and and then after that, then a lot of people were complaining. There was one section where there was no rocks at all. Why couldn't they have gone there and stuff like that? Okay, fine. Yeah, that part was moving. And after that, um, he, then they had this conversation with Jon Snow and Tyrion. And after Jon Snow basically goes up to uh, Khaleesi and she's like, you know, um, she going all mad and whatever not, and you know, saying that she did a favor to everyone. And after that, he just killed her. Yeah, yeah. it's so potong. Yeah. yeah, and then after that, okay, then after oh that, the dragon comes. The dragon comes and get angry. And <laughs> you <laughs> see the off. beast for that? <laughs> yeah, it's like look at the throne and look at the knife. Oh my god, the throne killed my mother. <laughs> 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 I melt the throne now. And then when it was melting the throne, I was like wondering, wow, the throne can melt, but the floor is still okay. What <laughs> is the floor made of? The the throne should be made of the floor. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, what? I mean, okay, for me is. I, okay, obviously, I am in no way better than any of the writers that wrote yeah, the yes, last yes, season. Yes. Give them give them credit; they did yes. write all. Eight yeah, seasons I give them, you know give them credit. All right. Yeah, at the end of the day, did you read about Sophie Turner? I did. I did it. Okay, so she she was in an interview, I think. So mm-hmm. she was saying that whoever. Okay, so there was a petition going on asking the to redo the yeah, season. To redo oh, the, yeah, yeah, to redo the season, and she felt that it was very really disrespectful for the people who it, worked so hard it, for it that. Is. Yeah, for the season. Like I watched every of the behind the scenes, and I was like, man, they really, they really yeah. did step up their game. But where I really felt, I sometimes I think maybe you can can't blame the writers. Maybe they were forced within six episodes mm-hmm. but I still felt if you drag it a little bit longer finish up to 10 episodes your whole story your whole last season would be yeah. so much more complete yeah uh, well okay you know with, with the time where he, uh, the drag- Drogon actually found out that the mother died right Yeah. you know what I want would have wanted him to best basically go Dracarys on Jon Snow yeah and, and, and he, he proves that he's Aegon right yeah, yeah. and yeah. he doesn't die yeah that was oh, that no, was what that's, I was that's thinking what I was, that's, that kind of stuff uh, you know like yeah. you're making it too easy what, like, what I had in mind is like you know, maybe you build up to a battle. Some people side John, some people side Danny, and in the end, John kills Danny. But then, instead of John going on the throne, he himself rejects it. So it makes it his choice. You know, right? Yes, it's not something yes. that he's forced into. He chooses to to break the wheel in that sense. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. that that kind of thing, lah. But like, okay, lah. La, but to be time, fair, la. I feel like a lot of people were really dissatisfied because, like, they okay. I feel like. It's, it's just like how I met your mother, I feel like. We expect this yeah, ending, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it doesn't happen yeah. that way. So we feel very angry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The finale also was pretty... Oh. Yeah. I, I, I feel that people are so... in. Okay, you see, this always happens with series, you know. They're so invested in the series uh, until they build up their own fan theories. Yes. And then sometimes, right, some people's fan theories may be, oh my God, it's so interesting. And people, I'll favor that, I'll favor that because some people like such big fans of Jon Snow. Yeah. Some people are yeah. such big fans of Khaleesi, whatever not. And after that, it doesn't go that way. It's like, oh my God, it, should have, it would have been better like how that, like, you know, the Apec where they said, you know? And like, yeah, but at the end of the day, you don't write the story, the writers yeah. do. I mean, George R.R. Yeah. R. Martin writes, I mean, I'm pretty sure he consulted of course, all I'm the sure writers, they right? want two different endings. He yeah. wouldn't want the same ending. I think his as, book is book. gonna have yes. a different ending. No, he yeah. he yes. said that. He, he, okay, you know what? This is okay. This is my understanding. Oh, not, not not my understanding. This is what I think. Okay, they purposely make season eight so bad. Because they know that people in the, of the internet will start a petition and then, you know, the, the response of the petition will be so good and then after George R.R. R. Martin will step in. All right, I have stepped in. I will write the whole Most of season, season eight again. I doubt Instead it, of uh. six, no, I will give you 10 episodes and then after that, investors will come throw money and then he makes money and then after that, he writes a better season eight and after that, he releases the book or he just writes a better book and people will just buy the book. Some people wouldn't go to, through reading the book, you know? I wouldn't. I haven't, I haven't yeah. read the book, actually. Uh, I, same, same. But there are, really yeah, long. And there's a lot of characters that we don't know about in the in book. In the book, yeah, yeah. Do you know about Caitlyn Stark? She in, actually didn't die. She, in the book? Yeah, she revived. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. You yeah, guys didn't know, did you? No. I didn't <laughs> yeah. know. So but I'm not mistaken, what, Tyrion is not in the book at all, if huh? if I'm not mistaken. Is I it? can't remember. Yeah, that's why they made the joke uh, in the end, it's like oh, oh there's no is mention. it? I'm I, not sure. I didn't understand. Okay? You know, if if you know, actually, if you, you guys actually know what's happening, just let us know in the comments. But I, that's what I I heard. Mm. <laughs> but I don't. Yeah. Don't quote me on this. Okay, <laughs> I've never read the book. But you know, with all that happen, with all that happening, I don't know. Okay, number one, 
I thought that uh, the Dra- Drogon should have just basically gone all Drakaris and Jon Snow and realized oh, that he's yes, a Targaryen. Yes. So cool. Because um, they wanted to do that with the Night King's dragon. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. If they, did, so okay cool. if they didn't do that, if they didn't do that, all right, fine. All right, Drogon goes away with uh, Khaleesi and then, you know, Grey Worm basically brings uh, Tyrion and <laughs> says that, um, you know, says that, blah, 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 you know, he must be punished, you know. Just freaking Tyrion should just stab Grey Worm and then Jon Snow will be king. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. The butterfly. Okay, you know what? Say all you like. There was some part where the freaking uncle came up and was like, you know what? I've been in this for the longest <laughs> that time. Funny. Sure, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, that was like. <laughs> and Sansa was like, uncle, please sit. I was like, okay, that was funny. That was quite funny. Yeah. No, do you see the meme? The one that Tyrion said, like, we need someone with stories. And then who has a better story than Bran? And then, <laughs> and then at the bottom, right, they show all the characters of Game of Thrones saying that they Everyone actually have a better, better story, story than, than Bran. Bran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. And and uh, to be honest, like the best part about this whole entire thing is you go on Twitter and you read the memes. Oh, yeah. So I like, love it. First thing I did was went on 9gag. I was I like, look at you everything you need. Yeah. I'm like, okay. The, the funniest <laughs> thing was... Do you see the one, the Brienne? She was writing the book about Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, she was saying like, uh, yeah, and uh, we had two, uh, two nights there. You know, night is the ah, yeah. night, the like yeah. K and K-N-I-J-J-T. I-J-T. Yeah. Oh my God, oh my. I laughed, man. Yes. And oh. and uh, Brand's meme was, doesn't contribute in a group project, but gets an A anyway. Oh yeah, oh my God, that's so <laughs> true. That was, that was the hilarious thing. But you know what, to be honest, if Brand is a three-eyed rave, when he saw everything, he knew everything was, what was about to happen, yet he didn't do anything. So technically- So basically, he's Doctor Strange. I think Strange. he can't do anything. It was, yeah. If he doesn't go according to plan, everything will just fall yeah. apart. Yeah, no, I just right. like I just didn't like how inconsistent his yes. character was. Yes, he didn't do anything. It's, honestly, Bran is one of my least favorite characters. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's such a burden. He didn't work into anything. It's, yeah, he causes people to die. He made Hodor like. Hodor. Yeah, he, I held the door for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but technically he held the door for a king. Oh uh, yeah. Oh no, you saw the one about Jaime Lannister. Oh, king okay. Slayer tried to kill the king eight years before he was king. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, no, but he could, oh, but he honest- could tell the future. <laughs> but honestly, I was so dissatisfied with his character development. I can't oh. believe he went back for Cersei. Honestly, I it's like seriously, them bad, you know. It's like, hey, uh, I leave, I leave one girlfriend. It's like, all right, hey, hey, you know. It's like it's just like that meme I was showing you just now. It's like he tells one girlfriend, which is his sister, like, you know what? I think we're not working out. Let's take a break. We need, we t- let's take a break and think about it. It goes out and he goes, he fools around with Brienne once, twice, and he did it in the worst way ever. Oh my god, it's so hot. I'm gonna take off my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's still hard no, going to take off my pants. I expected, you know the part where he was tied up and then uh-huh. Tyrion went to like release him. Yeah. And then Tyrion asked him to escape with Cersei, right? And then at the time when I saw his expression, I thought he was going to tell uh, Tyrion like, oh, actually I don't love her anymore. I don't want to run away go back her. To her. Yeah. yeah. But it didn't happen. Yeah, and he went to Brienne, freaking led her on twice. You know who's the saddest one? Tormund. Oh yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, basically so basically took took Tormund's wife, you know, or whatever <laughs> girlfriend to be. Where's the big lady? Uh, yeah, where's the oh I like the big lady. Oh and he feels so sad. And after that oh, after all that he leaves her. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. What an asshole. <laughs> Once a king slayer, always a king slayer. Okay, la, but yeah. everyone was talking about Daenerys, like how she became the mad queen and stuff and didn't like it, but and how it was so rushed, but I didn't feel it was rushed at all, to be honest. Um, Do you guys agree? No, for me, it was like, okay, for me, it's like, I, I totally understand that she will like kind of break out and like, you yeah. know, look, yeah. everyone that was near to her died. All right? yeah, yeah. Everyone that was close to her, you know, just was killed, you know, she would lost everyone. She was tormented, you know, she was raped, she was sold to a, 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 a tribe or whatever not and then yeah I, I i i totally agree that you know she'll go mad but the thing was she was burning the <laughs> burning the city and burning the city and burning the city and, and i was like when is this going to end it's like you know this episode hey guys i know we had a lot of ideas but i got no budget uh, let's cgi the whole damn thing you know what i mean <laughs> and it was burning the whole city non-stop yeah. and i was like when is this gonna end for me i felt it yeah is memang she memang gonna go crazy rush in a sense that at that moment, right, I thought it was a wrong moment for her to go crazy. Yeah. That the 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 motivation, the the snap there wasn't strong enough for me. You know, it didn't really like get click. Maybe if 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 they didn't let me Sunday die so uh, earlier in the episode, in the in the season they let her die during that battle. Yeah. Then then when the bell ring, then she's like, she's literally just reminded. Yeah, of yeah. Or or, or or yeah, how, yeah. yeah. Or how about we you know when she goes with the dragon and then she basically infiltrates the red keep where uh Cersei is actually standing and she's there with the mountain and what's the other guy again? Her hand? Uh 
the, oh, the Cersei's hand. Uh. Yeah, never mind. He's ah, not him. He's, 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 oh my god. His death was so cool. Though, yeah. <laughs> that was one of the coolest death. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's not. Okay, he's, is he's not. Yeah. Ah, Kaibun, yeah. Yeah, so he's not important. So she goes there. The dragon <laughs> drops her and she goes uh, She goes and she kills Cersei. Uh, no, no, no. She she does. She basically goes there and says, okay, Cersei, give up. And then instead of doing anything, she kills Miss Sandy. And then after that, she kills Cersei. And then after that, because she lost Miss Sandy. It, where she basically got boiling point already that she yeah, goes and yeah, burn the whole yeah, city exactly. yeah. that kind of thing or she kills Missandei and Grey Worm you know what I mean so yeah. I don't know we're not okay we're, again I don't want to claim that we're experts it's just that maybe that's how we think it would have consumer been. opinion yeah yes, consumer, yes. consumer consumer opinion. opinion but you know what Um, at the end of the day great run nonetheless it's been 8 seasons I'll I mean, probably you, rewatch everything I heard there's going to be a spin off <laughs> really I think yeah. it's Arya I, I uh, honestly they, I think they, they're going to be a spin off they say Arya. they're going to I don't know if this is true or not, but I just read it online. They're mm-hmm. gonna do a whole series based on what happened before, before. Where the Mac the Mac King one, right? Yeah, yeah. And oh. the Night King one. Yeah, yeah, how yeah. It came yeah. About. I heard yeah. about this. Someone when I was in Singapore, somebody said they was they were already shooting that. I heard of All that. Of I heard about that. But now looking at the, the ending, I think they might do one of on Arya. Oh really? Yeah, I mean like Arya is such a likable character. She's still alive. Mm-hmm. Now she's going west of Westeros. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like it's like a, an a, an <laughs> An egg there for you to hatch it. You know? It's yeah. like Christopher yeah, Columbus. She's gonna be. She's being Christopher Columbus. When HBO decides like, uh, bang running dry. Come, okay, Arya, you go on your adventure. No, but now. Do, you, do you see the meme also? She was like, nobody knows what is uh west, west of, of Westeros. Westeros. Then then they shot like, a, a a scene of Brandon like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In other news, okay, I kind of read this a couple of weeks ago, but I kind of found it interesting and cute. Um. I'm pretty sure you've heard about this as well. Uh. The Malaysian accent is among the top 50... 50 se- okay. The Malaysian accent is among the top 50 sexiest accent in the world. What are you, really? <laughs> did, you, did, you hear about, did you hear about this? No. Oh, no you crazy. didn't? How dare you? Who? The Malaysian accent is top 50 in the world, okay? Who finds... Okay, top 50 according to who? I have <laughs> no idea. Okay? Who is out is there saying like... Is it a random like, list that it was wow, made by someone? Wow, this Malaysian accent. No, actually... Okay, wait, hold on. Let me it's read. Tantalizing. Okay, uh, just, just so you know, uh, our accent is ranked number 39 in the world. It is Singapore. It's based on the travel website, okay? So the results were determined in a survey um, and it basically have a an audience of about 1.5 million. So they basically voted from 60 over countries worldwide. So we are about halfway is there. It, la. You, know what, you know what's the best part? <gasps> what's, who's number one? Sing it. No, don't oh, care. Okay, okay, don't okay. care about who's number okay, one. Okay. Singapore's not in it. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Look at your face, face. <laughs> you, know what, you know what this means, right? You, you don't want- Is this a meme? No, it's not a meme. You don't, you don't know what this means? What does that mean? We can finally go to other countries and not try and blend into their accent. Like you go to America, hey man, how's it going, man? Honestly, that's, okay, when I first went to the States, yeah, yeah you know, I started speaking like American, you know, yeah. I put on the accent. We all do, we all do. Yeah, but then after like, after like a year there, I got so tired. It's actually exhausting because you have to rewire your brain to say certain things. So after a while, so I go to my American face, like, hey, where you want to eat? And, and just like, and they, they they understood me like they weren't go, they didn't go like whoa what do you just say exactly okay well, right okay let me ask well, I'm sure you are Shufei are you the type of person when you go to a foreign country right then you use all Ang la white people all of a sudden you start speaking like them well you went to the U S with me did I actually no yeah you didn't really uh, yeah. no wait I mean but you spoke proper English. proper English yeah. yeah I wouldn't call it you wouldn't use the Allah you know what I mean of course yeah it's okay she out. does it okay well, okay you know I admit I did. Right, because like you know, I've always been really, really conscious of like what people would think of my original Malaysian accent. You know, when you talk to those people, especially you know from the states or whether from Australia, you I I always speak really proper English, because I'm afraid that if I speak Malaysian accent, right, they'd be like, huh? Excuse what me, sorry, come again, yeah. sorry, come again, come again. For me, it was I just too lazy to re-explain everything I just said. Because yeah, if I if I speak like how I speak to you guys and they don't understand, then I have to like re-explain everything. If I'm surprised though, Singapore is not on the list. I feel like our accents are kind of the same. Uh, yeah, we are. But you know, I for some reason, hey, look, man, the people have spoken. Okay, 1.5 <laughs> million people have voted. Come on, let's just, just rejoice. Yes, sorry, Singapore. Hey, some people think I saw Singaporean. You know? Uh, yeah, actually, hey. to be honest, Singaporean, they probably think that Singapore and Malaysia are the same country. Oh, oh. some Singaporeans I mean, are gonna get offended. They're gonna get Guess triggered so. right now. I, honestly, I think the only people who can tell Singaporean and Malaysian accent apart. Uh, Singaporean yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's because the because words we use. Yeah, yeah, it's just different I words we use. I always say Sia, that's why. Yeah, ah, yeah, Sia is yeah. very Sia is I very always Singaporean. say Sia one. So. And, and okay, now, if you're wondering who is number one on the world's sexiest accent Wait, list. Wait, before you re- okay, reveal I'll, it, yeah. what's yours? 
uh, 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 I think it's the British. Really? Really? Is it the British. I don't the accent. I kind of don't like the British accent. I mean, I like it's the, the Italian accent. Oh. <laughs> it's what? the Italian accent. That's nice what. <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem with you? I like it. Is it you like it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you you think uh, British? It's either one. British or I think Spanish. Oh yes. Yeah, not not Mexican. How does Spanish person. sound? See, uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 I can't do it properly, but like they do something to the S, and it's like she, she talks like I, no, I can't <laughs> do it, like, I just, I can't do it. I know like Italian it. is basically they go, they run up and down a hill, la. Okay, it's la, French not bad. Also. It's like you know when they run up, when they, they run the hill, they're tired, and then when they run down the hill, they're excited. It's like okay, today I'm going to go and buy a pizza, and then I'm going to <laughs> go yeah, and drive a car, nice. and then I'm going to visit my house, you know, and then I'm going to you know, stuff How like that. How is that sexy? <laughs> I think it's nice though. Well, I like yeah, it. no, did it, it, I don't know. I'm not sure where they ended up in the list, but. Number, Number one, one in the whole world, the world's sexiest accent. China. I'm, I'm looking Chinese. at I'm looking at some of the camera guys over here. I'm pretty sure they want to know is New Zealand. <laughs> the Ooh. Kiwi accent. Yeah. Do you know how they say seventeen one seven? How seventeen? Really? I yeah. What the I, accent sounds like it's, I, it's like okay. Uh, uh, this is gonna offend a lot of Australians. It's similar to Australian, yeah, but it, yeah, that's the, what it's like what Malaysia and Singaporean. There's a, there's a number of differences between them. And their E's, the way they pronounce their E's is very different. Really? I once had a friend from New Zealand, New Zealand, <laughs> and, and and we were like looking at each other's passport, and it's like, oh yeah, what does New Zealand passport looks like? Oh yeah, it has a fin in it. Ah, uh, it has a it has a fin on it. Fin on it. It's a fin. fin. What what do you think a fin is? Um, a I fish fin. Fish fin. No, it's a fern. Ah. Uh? It's a fern, you know the fern leaf. It's like, yeah. oh, he has a fin on it. I'm like, oh my god, you is know that how you I, say fern? I, you know, re- after reading <laughs> that, right, I'm actually so, com- I'm so, I'm so curious. I'm actually going on YouTube right now to look to for, a New, for Zealand New Zealand accent. accent. Yeah, and see. I, I actually like it. Right, honestly, I honestly I can see why. I actually quite like New Zealand accent. Really, it's actually very pleasing to the ears. I've never heard. Yeah, there's, a bit, there's a bit of like a sing song style to it. I don't know. Sing it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 nice. Okay, okay, cool. There's this video over here that says how to speak how to speak with a New, New Zealand, Zealand accent. New Zealand. It's by a YouTuber. It's called Talk Nerdy to Me. Hey, I like it how we all got in sync. We're such nerds. Okay. Dick. What? Dick. <laughs> I want to get on the dick. What? The, the dick. No. The dick of your house. You know, the, Hello, the large everyone. wooden dick. So today I'm going to talk about accents. If you couldn't already tell, I have a very forced, thick Kiwi accent. So if you're watching this and you're like, but Sarah, your voice isn't even that bad. I'm going to say a few words for you and then you'll be like, oh. Oh, she hasn't even gotten to it yet. I thought okay. this was the accent. As no. in my boyfriend's name is Ben. Bed. I Beans. really need to go to bed. Yes. Oh, that's what? a Kiwi hey, accent? Sarah, you want to come to the movies? Bit, yeah, bit. Yes. And everyone's favourite, dick. As in, do you that. like my new dick? Can <laughs> I get on the dick? Children aren't allowed on my dick. What? Okay. Deck, you know, like a house, you know, like your ta- the so, terrace yeah, of the house. So yeah, that's just my like glorious deck, voice. Like a wooden deck. Oh, so deck. it's like a, it's deck lah. Yeah. D-E-C-K. Yeah, that's why I said the way they pronounce their E is dick. So dick. their E is they like, like I Oh my God, the dick. way she said like the uh, the kids are allowed on my dick. I'm like, yeah, oh my God. You, <gasps> you, you didn't, did you hear, not hear that uh, there's this there's this viral video that went out for a while. It's like this guy uh, trying, to, trying to fix his dick. <laughs> big wooden dick. Okay. Yeah, big wooden <laughs> dick. Oh, big yeah, wooden yeah, yeah, dick. Yeah. yeah, you get it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that was the New Zealand one. So, okay, yeah, cool. So New Zealand's weird. number one. Congratulations. I mean, what? Okay. No. Well, when I read the article, it wasn't well for me. I read it in a, a different way. I didn't think of it as like you know, oh yay, you know, we're on the map. For, uh, we're, we're like it's something funny or to laugh about or to joke about. For me, right, it's kind of like hey, finally Malaysia is on the map for something, and then we can be ourselves and people. You know, just like okay, for me, I love the Australian accent. The Australian accent is just amazing. I just mm. like it, you know. I just love how the, the way they speak, especially, yeah. you know, like, hey, get out of my heart, you get out of my heart, you know, and it's like, yeah, uh, like, you know, hey, yeah, you're going out today, weather's pretty nice out there, I go out for a picky, hey? Yeah, I, right. I, I like, I love their accent and I love Australia. And, you know, f- for once, right, there are people out there who actually think our accent is really, really nice. And it's kind of cool because it kind of allows us to go out and be ourselves and people be like, ah, oh, I can identify you're from Malaysia, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like when an Australian comes to Malaysia, okay, although they are, you know, they are, they are white and the minute they open their mouth and they speak with an Australian accent, hey, you're from Australia. Most of the time, last time, right, when we speak, right, people be like, where are you from? Huh? It's like, oh, I'm from Malaysia. Oh, you speak pretty good English for a Malaysian. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm hoping that one day when we speak like how we speak right now, people are like, hey, you're, you're Malaysian. And I'll be like, yeah. Oh my God, do you see the Twitter? <laughs> Everything I see is on Twitter. Do you see the girl who was complaining about someone who asked about her English? 
No. No. What, okay, what so, about okay, so she's she's Malay she, uh, and she speaks quite good English. So mm-hmm. someone came up to her and asked her like, "How is your English so good? You watch a lot of Netflix." Then she got offended. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I would be like, okay, I wouldn't be offended, but I would I'd be like, hey, I, I would I would tell the person like, obviously it's obviously a foreigner who approached her, a white guy. No, I don't think so. I, think I don't know. Okay, it depends. Wait, she was offended because someone asked her how, why her English is so good. Yeah, they you know the person. I think she was offended because he assumed that she learned her English From through Netflix. Netflix. Okay, yeah, yeah okay, like yeah. you know, like how to say, like oh, this per- this person probably is un- uneducated, and whatever she say right now is probably a reference of a a TV, a TV show she mm. watched. Yeah, I get, I get it. You know, it, I would. I mean, it's technically kind of like an insult. I mean, to her, it's like what you mean? I can't go to school and learn English. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think like if I was in a position like, look, bitch. I know more than just English. English. I know Bahasa Malaysia. I know Bahasa, I don't know, maybe Indonesia because it's about the same. Like for us, but people like us, right? You know, like you speak English very well. I was like, no, I don't only speak English. I can speak Cantonese. I can speak a bit of Mandarin. Okay. I can speak Bahasa Malaysia. I can speak English. What can you do? And uh, and yeah. and honestly, in the states, a lot of people only know one language. Really, English? Yeah, I thought English. like they they're mm-hmm. supposed to always pick up like a second language, like French yeah, in school. Yeah, but they, some of them can't really speak. So it's mostly like if you see people who you know how to speak Spanish and English, they are most of them are like from a, a Spanish background. It's like they are mm-hmm. they have a Latin American background or something like that. Right. You know, but whatever it is, at home. you know, as long as you're from Asia, okay, not even Southeast Asia, as long as you're from Asia, the minute you speak English, you more you know more than one language already. Yeah. 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 yeah Cause yeah. no, no, not many countries here have English as their native language. Yeah. But you know what? You know, I'm still going on with the whole Malaysian accent thing. I hope the Malaysian accent will one day be, okay, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so, so, so hopeful uh, for you to go number one, lah, right? Oh my God. I can imagine Game of Thrones in a Malaysian accent. <laughs> That's my dragon, lah. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll be like, uh, he's like, kill the rest. No, lah, she's my queen, eh. <laughs> She's my queen la. Hey, don't la. Yeah, she's my queen Plus la. Auntie, ayah, never mind one la. Auntie ni mah. Ayah, it's not, it's not about the whatever, whatever. Ayah, let's not play ranks la. She's my. I mean, I love, I love her la. Okay, so writers, you know how to make your season eight more interesting. Exactly. Oh my god, we should do a parody. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe we should. Mm. But you know what? Um, I had. Oh, now that you brought that up, uh, somebody brought this up. It was so funny. John Snow gets paid. Well, what's his name again? Kit Harrington, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kit yeah. Harrington gets paid half a million an episode to say. She is my queen. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the other word again? I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gets paid half a million an episode to say, she's not my, uh, she is my queen and I don't want it. Oh, you know, was you know what's better? Le- Lena Headley gets paid a million an episode. Just to stand at the tower. <laughs> stand at the tower and drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anywho, um, you know what? Thank you so much for listening to us in this podcast. We're going to end it right here because you know why? You guys have been amazing. All right. Um, hey, we just want to make a quick shout out to all of our Muslim listeners who are fasting. Selamat berpuasa. Bulan Ramadan. Uh, the Bazaar Ramadans are amazing. Yes. But you know, more importantly, you guys have been keeping us at number one. All right. And the number one spot on Spotify. And you know, it, it isn't possible without you guys. So thank you so much for listening to us. Where can they listen to us? Come on, guys. You got to do this. We got it on YouTube, on yeah. Spotify, on we have it on Apple Music, Apple, right? Apple, yeah, Apple, Apple Podcasts. Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts yeah. And uh, I don't know if you torrent it. I don't know where you can no, it. <laughs> torrent I watch, it. I watch us on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm on Spotify. Thank you so much. You know, if you, you're busy doing homework and stuff like that, just play us in the background, okay? We'll be your background noise to keep you company when we you're alone. We sing for you next time if you want. Exactly. Hey, but if you want to suggest any topics that you, we want to talk about over here on the show, all right, leave a comment in the comment section. You can DM us. You can follow us on Instagram. It is at Mamak Sessions on Instagram. And uh, we would love to hear from you because you guys have been always amazing. You guys make this show happen. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Jin. My name is Ryan. Shufei. Yes. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.